So guys, today we're gonna do a little road trip. I'm gonna drive to the coast, which is about an hour, hour and a half. And we're gonna hit as many Goodwills as we can on the way down there. And then on the way back, we're gonna hit a few. And it's just gonna be my daughter today. So let's see how it goes. Say hey. Hey. This is our first Goodwill stop of the day. Uh, this one's in Wiggins, Mississippi. And uh, this one and the ones all on the coast are kind of all linked together and it's one chain. Uh, they take military discount. They take this little discount card. Dude, let me get it real quick. Take the little cards where you can kind of build up points and use them for to get a coupon, some money off. Uh, everything that's from Hattiesburg up north, those are all linked together. Sometimes I go to Jackson because that's where the bins are. Uh, but those are always usually over expensive and they don't take military discounts and they don't take the card So typically I come to the come to the coast and the coast also has a superstore So there's always a benefit of that too. Anyway, so let's get in here Hey, we're gonna just tell me her legs are broken. So I get the carrier. We're not spoiled, are we? No, all right Got back in there. She had to take a potty break real quick. So we're in next door to Dollar Tree because somebody was in the bathroom over at Goodwill. So we're going back in here, trying it again. Yeah, guys, all right, so we're done in the first Goodwill. I didn't get a lot. I ended up putting that bag of toys back. It just wasn't worth my time. I don't think it's too much work involved. So now we're on to the next Goodwill and we'll see how it goes. And I'll just wait to the end of the day and just kind of show you everything I get when at the end of the day. So let's keep it going. All right, we're in Ocean Springs. This is Goodwill number two. You can see this is the mega store. And uh, we're about to walk into this one and see what we can get. All right, guys, I had to stop recording while I was in there. I was having a hard time recording, but holding it in one hand and do searching for some stuff. I did get a pretty good amount of stuff in there, and I'll share that with you later at the end of the video when I get home. Uh, so I'm gonna try to uh, try to fix this situation. I'm gonna go by Best Buy and see if I can't find a chest strap for the GoPro. Uh, and that way, I just wear the GoPro throughout the store as I go. That one actually was, takes the longest because it's the, it's the mega store, and there's usually a bunch of stuff in there for me to find. Uh, we just got out of there. It's like it's, it's like noon. Me and baby girl about to get something to eat. So um, after that, we'll hit good. We'll hit the Best Buy real quick, and then we'll we'll continue on our Goodwill trip. All right, guys. Yeah, we were on the way to Best Buy, and there's a Goodwill right here on the way. So we didn't want to have to go down to Best Buy and then come back up here to Goodwill and then head back the other way. We kind of want to stay on the same path and just kind of head home. And so uh, yeah, we're gonna hit this good real quick. Bear with me. Um, I may or not may not get to do some recording depending on. We're trying to hurry this up because it's getting like one o'clock and we're running out of time. Yeah, we were in and out of Goodwill number three relatively quick. Um, we spent more time in the line than anything else. There was nothing really in there. They get that this one had gotten rid of their toy section, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. The only thing I really found was this vintage uh, Dallas Cowboys Youth, like '97, I think is what it is. It's like a little cleaning. Sell for about twenty-five dollars. Cost me like a dollar fifty. All right, guys. Uh, well, I'm gonna head on to Best Buy if I can get this, this chest strap, and then we'll continue. All right, guys. Cast them out. So hopefully we'll be good the rest of the time. On to the next Goodwill. This is uh, another one of the reasons why I love coming down here. Something about just the beach just makes me happy. I know it's not really beach weather or time of the year right now, but it's just I don't know. Something about just being near it and seeing it just. Puts me in a good mood, so yeah, I do. It's one of the reasons why I like coming down here. Thought maybe I might want to show y'all the view of the Gulf Coast. It's good. This is a. It's, it's not very sanitary usually, and so swimming isn't always the best, but it's pretty. That's all that matters, right? All right, guys, we're at Goodwill number four. Uh, I do have it mounted to the chest mount, and we're gonna see how this goes. So hopefully, this is cool. Hey. Baby girl. Yeah, come on. Hmm. All right, come on.
small so far. And this one, I just got these, these two pair of Merrells. Uh, they do okay, about 30 bucks a piece. Bought them for five. All right, so this is a DIY Vail Goodwill. Uh, we're gonna go on to Goodwill number five. This is Goodwill number six and uh, three o'clock. Gotta pick up my kid from daycare at least by six, hour and a half drive back to Hattiesburg. So we're getting close before I have to start heading back. Probably get mm, this one, maybe one more if we have time. Depends how long we're in here. All right, let's go. All right, yeah, I think that was Goodwill number six. Um, it was a wash, there was nothing there. There's a couple things I could have done okay on. I just, I'm being really picky on what I get. Uh, I want to make sure my shoes are in really good condition. And there was a couple that I probably could have gotten and sold for profit, but the soles weren't perfect. And I just, you know, I'm tired of hanging on to stuff for a long time. So got plenty of shoes like that. I don't need that. I need good stuff that's going to go regular pretty quick. Um, it's 3.30. We're probably going to hit one more. And I'm going to see if my wife, if she's capable to go get my son or not. May it may continue. I don't know. I'll let you know. All right, change of plans. Uh, it's uh, 3.45 right now. It's gonna be a little tight trying to get to pick up my son. My wife's not sure that she can go get him, so we're just gonna start heading that way. Um, if we do find out, she's just gonna come back. And if we do find out that she can, we may stop somewhere, but most likely we're just gonna go head on home. We did pretty good. It's a fun trip. It's not always the most lucrative because it is a long way, but I always make money on it. It just depends on how much. But it, always, it is always fun. All right. Anyway, uh, you ready to go home, baby girl? Huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Last Goodwill. Uh, decided to stop one more place real quick on the way home. Daughter is knocked out, so it'll be probably relatively quick. I'm not even gonna wear the 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 camera on today in this store because I'm gonna be carrying my daughter, and it's just not worth it. But I'll show you when I get to come out. So we're home now. It's pretty late. The family's asleep. We drove 200, right at 200 miles today. Hit seven Goodwills, and I got my stuff here. I want to kind of do a really quick show you what we got today. Uh, this is not showing you everything. It's just the stuff that I'm going to resell. Where it was some personal buys, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> the first thing is this Horton. Here's a Who doll plush. Uh, it's a Coles Cares. I spent 50 cents on this thing. They usually Coles Cares do really well. This is an item I grabbed. It's not worth a ton. It's probably worth about $15. I spent $2 and some change on it. Um, I won't make a ton on this. It's really simple to list though, it's new and packaged. I just thought it was cool. Um, so I really just kind of got it for that. The second store was the Mega Store and I got quite a bit from there. The first thing I got from there was this little plush. This is a, a cup head, it's new with tags. Um, it sells for around 20. I bought it for $4, which was a little much. Now I usually don't spend as much for plushies. Uh, but seeing as it sells for over $20 usually, it was worth the time. I bought a bunch of these hats. Uh, today the white tag was uh, was 50, 50 cents, so they were all 50 cents. And there was multiples of each. These are going to be easy to list. And because I have multiples of them, I just decided to go ahead and do it. They're not worth a ton. Uh, somewhere from like 12 to 15 to 18 bucks. These I also got from that Superstore. There's a bunch of these new sealed and packaged um programs this one's like a music program that's supposed to eliminate the vocals so you can kind of you karaoke with it uh, it comes with a microphone i bought them all for four dollars honestly most of these didn't even show anything on the comps i think it was worth the risk especially since most of these i have multiples of them like this essential business suites i have three of them i don't think there's really much to worry i can at least get my money back on these things some audio editing programs same with these and like I said, most of these didn't have comps or there was listings, but not a lot of sales. The third one I went to, the only thing that I stuck out in the car was this 
Uh, this Cowboys Vintage Cowboys Snapback Youth Hat. It's a little dirty, but I think I can get it to clean up. Now the next one I got these uh, these Merrill shoes. Now I've never messed with Merrill before. I've heard that they're a pretty good brand. I just saw these two, saw they were in pretty good condition. Uh, there's there, there's this pair as well, and uh, I saw that they were in pretty good condition. I just figured you know I'll take a shot at them and see what I can get out of them. I saw some comps on some of these things going around thirty bucks. This was another one that I got from that superstore. It's just a bag of toys. The only bag of toys I got this time. Usually I buy more. This was only ninety nine cents. But these are Lego trains in here. And I saw comps for complete sets for pretty good amount of money. And I saw some for single pieces or like two of them. Um, but they weren't, weren't, none of those were the, were the engine. And this one is the engine piece and another one. I think I should do pretty well. 99 cents, I could probably sell this for $25. I picked this up today too as well. These were a pair of the, the Nike Air Torch 4s. Uh, I saw some comps for brand new ones going over for 100 and some of the the uh, light new use going for around 80 to 90. These are pretty good condition. They're nowhere near like new. There's a few obvious scuffs. The the treads on the bottom look like they're they don't look that bad. I'm pretty sure I could do I don't know 30, 40 at least. And it cost me five dollars to get them, so I think I'm okay. And I also picked up these pair of Brooks. This was the last store that I went to. I picked these up. Um, my daughter was asleep. It was not fun because I had to carry it to the store, and there was multiple pairs of shoes that I was interested in and I didn't have a cart because I had her in my arm so it was I had to grab the shoes so no one else would grab them so I was carrying like three pairs of shoes and my daughter to the front of the store to get a, a buggy but luckily somebody was working there and they decided to help me and bring me a buggy so I threw all those shoes in the buggy grabbed a couple more that I noticed off the shelf then went through and looked them all up and these were the only pair I ended up getting because some of the other ones had some small flaws or um, the, the comps just weren't quite enough for what I want to do uh, I picked these up for $6.99. Brooks are always really good running shoes. It's a, it's a good brand to look for. Um, I've had a pair of Brooks before. I love them. I wasn't running in them. I was teaching in them and I was standing up all day and they're extremely comfortable. Uh, but no, they're a really good brand to look for and they, they usually sell really well for me. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this type of video, give me a subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos in the future. Y'all take it easy.